<laughs> Can I shake him for him? Make science fun? Got two of my good buddies, Joel and Zach. Now these guys do not do physics. No. Okay? No. Nah. No. Nah. No. But they, they, they are smart. You're good at music and that sort of thing. And you're good at... Are you good at anything? Everything. <laughs> I think I'm good. He's good at getting haircuts. <laughs> Give us a side profile. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so look at this. I should grow my hair so I can get a little like one of those things as well. Hey, eh? look, I've got a physics question for you today. Mm. Okay, so I've got a little trolley here. It's going to get pulled towards those bricks. Right. Yeah, and it's going to crash into the bricks. It's got these four little cubes. Now you hold the cubes. They're, they're, they're the same size. Yeah, they're all the same size, but there's something different about them. Numbers on them. Some of them yeah, they got yeah. numbers on them. Yeah, different numbers. Very good, Joel. <laughs> uh, some of them are heavier than the others. Very good. Uh, so, yeah. In physics, we actually talk about being having different masses. Place the 55 one at the 15 centimetre mark. Now, notice that they've all got the same yellow cardboard on the bottom. See that? Yeah. Why do you think that is? I have no idea. It's so that they're all the same on the bottom. Okay? So that they're all the same. Coefficient of friction will be the same. Now, can you sort of guess the question I'm going to ask you to, or not? Nope. No. Is it how fast it's going to go when you take one off or something? No. It is. It is what is going to happen to those four blocks when the car collides with the brickwork. And they're all going to be travelling along at the same speed. Woo! And then they're going to hit that. Now, the question is, what is going to happen? When they all just go. OK, so, yep, yeah, they'll, they'll keep going forward. Good. Newton's first law. An object in motion will continue in motion, yeah? But I can tell you, they're not gonna hit that hard enough that they all hit up the front. Will they all slide together, if you like the same distance, or will the more massive one go furthest? This, this is what I wanna ask you. Mm. Um, well, they've all got the same sort of friction on the bottom, but I don't know if that makes sense. They've difference. all got the same friction, like the- the, the, With the cardboard the on cardboard the- The cardboard on the cardboard, so the- lighter one move, like, easier, like it'll- why will the lighter one move easier? Because it's not like pushing down. Yeah, it's not as heavy like. Ah, so what you're saying is you're saying the light one will actually have less friction. Yeah, so do it like slide and easier. The, and so it will slide easier and the yeah. big one will have more friction. Yeah. Yeah? I so therefore you're saying that this one should go the furthest. Yeah. yeah. So. But doesn't won't this one have more like momentum? Like won't the heavier one have more momentum? To, yeah. Maybe to overcome, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> well, this one's, this one's like four times heavier. Surely it's gonna have more momentum than that one. Yeah, yeah. So this one's got less friction, but this one's got more momentum. That means this one's not gonna move as much. Okay. You're saying like, oh, yeah. actually. So you're saying that this one will move a, like a big amount, but this one will only move a small amount. I guess, yeah. You guess. <laughs> I would know. <laughs> oh, well, you know, come on, you're not a dummy. Well, with a haircut like that, hey? Eh? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done science since year eight. Oh, excuse me. What about year 10? Oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> what about year nine? Oh, yeah. I taught you in year nine. You did too. I mean, holy moly, that. Eh? Oh, me as well. All right, I'm, I taught you guys. Oh, yeah. Can we just see what happens? Okay, oh, I guess so. let's, do, let's do an experiment. Are we ready? Okay. Here we go. And set. Oh, they all did what I said the word. Let's have a look. I'll just rotate them a little bit. It actually looks like we have broken the internet, but not quite. <laughs> internet. <laughs> this, this gap's the smallest, yeah. then that gap's a little bit bigger, and then that gap's a bit bigger. Yeah. But you know what, boys? Well, Theoretically, mm -hmm. and this is why physics is hard sometimes, um, <laughs> they should have all slid the same amount. Ah! Physics, can't believe it. But anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> was that the experiment? No, no, we're not supposed to do that. Was uh, that the experiment? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pull us into here like, oh, I got an experiment to show you guys. And, like, and we were like really excited. <laughs> and, and, and these are some blocks of everything. <laughs> this is a pulley and they didn't even do what you wanted them to do. <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> I, well, I will, I'm going to do this by myself with... <laughs> Me, oh. myself, and I. I will use this footage, I promise. All right, yeah. And I will look at the, uh, I will do the mathematical uh, analysis of it. Uh, analysis of it. But anyway, thanks for your time, boys. Right, You've been, thanks, thank you you been good. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Joe. Well, okay, See stay tuned, stay tuned. Don't fun. go anywhere. Have fun. <laughs>
We've got four identical boxes, or almost identical. They're different densities on a skateboard moving towards that wall. When it hits the wall, those boxes are going to keep traveling forwards. Now what stops them traveling forwards and hitting the wall is friction, is friction. There is a frictional force on each of those. And that frictional force, friction, no force, depends on two things. It depends on the two surfaces in contact with each other. And that's called the coefficient of friction, which we call mu. It also depends on, the frictional force also depends on the weight or the, the pushing force between the two objects. So that's actually the weight. Now the weight is simply equal to mass times gravity. That's the mass of each of those boxes. Now the acceleration of those boxes, the rate at which they slow down, is equal to the force acting on them, in this case friction, over their mass. So the force is mu times weight over their mass. But don't forget that the weight is actually equal to mass times gravity. And if you put that over mass, what we actually see, and this is the exciting part of it, mass on mass is equal to one, and so the mass actually cancels out, and so the acceleration is actually equal to mu times gravity. The distance that these things will slide depends on the coefficient of friction, so the rougher the surface, the less they'll slide, and also gravity, that the greater the gravitational pull on them, the greater the force, the less they'll slide. In fact, how far they slide has got nothing to do with the mass. The distance that they slide is independent of the mass. Can you see the mass in this equation? No, you can't, it's not there. Mass. Mass cancels out. That's why it's such an interesting problem. The frustrating thing is, when you actually do it in real life, you get a whole range of values. But that's physics for you. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you guys later with another physics problem. Bye.